And we're back here at the Silver 5150 channel with a special treat tonight. This is a half ounce coin, a half ounce offering from the Perth Mint. It is the Texas Australia Sister Cities um, half ounce coin. And I guess this is a tribute to the exploration of energy. Um, you can see there's a Texas oil well there on the left. And it looks like to be an oil platform out in the ocean off Australia. On the right, there's a big star by the Texas one. There's smaller stars by Australia representing their flags. I think that's the configuration on their flags, the respective flags. And um, these coins are, you know, they're, they're, they're nice, but, you know, they're not terribly remarkable. But it's just a great, you know, offering that they give you. Um, it's something that is fractional. We talked about fractional all night last night and how they're denominational. I'll just to give you some context, of course, there is the lovely lady from 2014, the one ounce eagle is always going to be the marker to give us that one ounce reference. And, um, you know, the thing about these rounds here, I'm sorry, these coins here, I, uh, I think about how, you know, I came from very humble, humble beginnings. Like a lot of people in my generation, when we were young, most of us didn't know we were poor. We just, you know, thought we were normal. We were happy and, you know, didn't realize that we were in any kind of economic malaise or were poor. And um, so, you know, life went on and stuff. My story is not that remarkable. Um, I did uh, have my parents in about the until about the time I got out of high school. And uh, I had a lot of options in front of me, um, even though they had both passed away. And most of them were bad. And so, you know, thank goodness I had a sense of self-preservation. I think God was looking out for me, thanks to my grandmother. And, uh, and I ended up um, landing a career um, right at the age of 18. Um, and so that helped out tremendously. Since that time, you know, I've dabbled in things like, you know, every young person tried to test the limits of my uh, ability to party and, you know, go out there and do some crazy stuff, broke a few bones, learned a few things about life. But in the end, you know, I managed to stay gainfully employed over the years, not in some of the best jobs, but at least working. I've never been afraid of work. I've done everything under the sun. And even in recent years, you know, I've doubled and tripled down on my uh, my earning uh, ability, you know, doing, uh, you know, landscaping and um, janitorial and fencing and whatever it took to make extra money so I could buy extra silver. Silver 5150, crazy about silver and would do whatever I had to do to get it. So between my career and between some of the side jobs and between the leveraging that I'm doing right now using some of the credit systems out there, which a lot of stackers and a lot of um, mints and you know um, gurus will call completely reckless well it it is in a sense if I don't stay on top of it I know what it takes to keep it alive I know what it takes to not get in kind of trouble I know what it takes to avoid having bill callers bill collectors call you all the time and so um, I just uh, like I said I manage whatever leverage I have it's not all leverage but a lot of it is now um, you know one of the things that I try to compare to um, when I purchase stuff like this and use leverage is that if you're going to start a business, say, you generally have to borrow money to do it. You generally have to have a line of business credit or working credit to do it. And you don't know what the outcome is going to be. You don't know if your business is going to be successful. You don't know if your product is going to be desired and uh, purchased to the degree that you're going to be able to satisfy your debt and start making some profit. A lot of businesses don't make profit for five years. They got to hang in there. And stuff. I don't plan on going into business. I plan on going and I plan on spending this currency as it was intended. You know, once governments decide they want to accept it into the fold as something that'll uh, purchase and have purchasing power. And you know what? If it just kind of all bypasses and blows over and nothing ever comes of, you know, uh, the economy going bad or what have you or causing precious metals to come to the surface, then I'll just start selling it back. You know, either to, you know, uh, friends or people, you know, uh, personal contacts, um, dealers, dealers that, you know, want it and stuff. So, you know, that's the worst can happen. I'll have to sell it back, you know, maybe at a small loss. But we're talking about precious metals. I don't think we're going to see that happen. We are talking about silver as a precious metal. And it's probably the most undervalued of any commodity in the existence of mankind, even though it's second to petroleum in terms of uses. So... No matter what you decide to stack, always feel good about your stack. Always feel about the pursuit of your stack. Um, if you can manage the means and methods which you're going after 
um, acquiring your precious metal, um, then give, give, give no care. Give no care to what people say about, you know, well, you shouldn't have did this. You should have did that. Only buy what you can afford and everything like that. Well, the word afford is kind of fluid. I know what I can afford. I can afford this. And like I said, I'm on a quick, fast payment plan to pay down any leverage I have and then have outright ownership by the time I'm ready to retire. So the half ounce Texas Australia um, sovereign coin from the Perth Mint um, is a beauty. Very flat matte finish, but it has a nice little dull shine in the back. I guess it's supposed to be like industrial metallic for the sake of, you know, the manliness of the energy exploration industry. Because let's be honest, you got to really, really be into doing some hard work if you're going to go after uh, energy on those platforms. Okay, again, the uh, Perth Mint Half Ounce Texas Australia Round here on the Silver 5150 channel. If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe, comment, and give me a thumbs up. I like the thumbs up. I didn't even know I could get them. Now I do. Now I want them. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you later.